going on guys? Welcome to another edition of Rocks and Rush. I'm your host Dan and on today's episode we're going to be installing part number SEAT-371 on our 2017 Yamaha Drive 2. Now before we get started, let's go ahead and take a look at everything that comes in the kit and the tools that we're going to need to perform the installation. When you first open up your kit, you're going to find your seat back and seat bottom cushions. And then after that, you're going to have your foot plate. And then after your foot plate, you're going to have your main flip frame. Then after our foot frame, we're going to have our two seat back mounting brackets. We have our foot plate support brackets, vertical support bracket. We have our foot frame handle. Then we have our two seat back cushion mounting brackets. And then finally, we have both of our handrails, our horizontal bar, and our box part. Now let's take a look at all of our parts. Let's take a look at the tools that we're going to need for our installation. First up, we have an impact gun with a 5.8 socket. We have a 10 millimeter, a 12 millimeter, and a 13 millimeter socket, as well as a socket wrench. We have a 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench, and then we have a 5 8 open-ended wrench and a 5 8 ratcheting wrench. Following that, we have a Phillips head screwdriver, and lastly, we have a set of hex keys. Now let's take a look at all the tools. Let's go ahead and get started. Now before we get started with any installation, we wanna make sure that we turn our part off set our parking brake, chalk our front wheels, and if we have an electric cart, we're gonna flip our tow run switch to tow. Once that's done, we can begin disassembling the back end. We're gonna take off the gutters from the top struts first. So now that our gutters are off the car, we can go ahead and remove the front seat back cushion. Once you have your rear seat back cushion removed, you can go ahead and remove the four bolts that hold your top struts in place. But before you do that, you want to make sure that you put a prop rod underneath of your top to keep it from falling down on your head. Now we've got our four bolts for our top struts removed, our next step is to remove our sweater basket. But in order to do that, we need to remove the rubber gaskets that are around the bottom of the sweater basket so we can access those bolts. Now we've got our sweater basket removed, our next step is to install our new seat back brackets. We're going to do that by reusing the OE hardware. Something to note when you are installing your new seat back brackets, you want to make sure that the tabs for the top struts are pointed out towards the outside of the cart. And we're just going to leave our hardware hand tight at this time. And once you've loosely attached your seat back brackets, you can go ahead and attach your top struts reusing the OE hardware. Now that our top struts are reattached, we can go ahead and install our vertical support using the supplied hardware. Now that we've got our vertical support attached to the cart, we can go ahead and attach our flip frame using the supplied hardware. Now that we've attached our flip frame, our next step is to attach our foot plate. And once our foot plate is attached, we can go ahead and attach our handrails and our horizontal support. Now when we're attaching the upper portion of this handrail, we want to make sure that we put the spacer in between so that we don't wind up bending our handrails later on. Now we've got our handrails and a horizontal bar attached, we can go ahead and attach our seat back mounting brackets to our seat back cushion. Once your brackets are attached to your seat back cushion, you can go ahead and attach that to your horizontal support. Now that our seat back cushion is installed, we can go ahead and attach our seat bottom cushion with our locking tabs. Once that's on there, we can go ahead and attach our handle using the two set screws, and that'll lock that seat cushion in place. Now that we've attached our seat bottom cushion, we can go ahead and reinstall our OE seat back cushion. Once that's done, we can reattach our gutters and tighten down all of our hardware on our kit.
After everything's tightened down, we can go ahead and reinstall the boots that lock around the gutters. And once you've done all that, that'll wrap up the installation for part number SEAT-371 on our 2017 Yamaha Drive 2. We're gonna take this card out for a spin. Thanks for watching this episode of Rock's Garage. Stay safe, and we'll see you next time.